thank you for joining me for coffee. My first sip. <sighs> Although I think Karen could be right. She thought maybe I was grumpy because I was undercaffeinated. Yeah, well, yeah, maybe. Who knows? But I'm not feeling nearly as grumpy today, and I'm just as undercaffeinated. I think it was just the very abrupt waking up and then having to hustle to get the dog out and whatever. Anyway, I didn't end up being grumpy at people yesterday, I don't think. Nobody said anything. <laughs> well, Aura would never say anything in a million years, but Dennis would have. <laughs> Uh, I did not knit at all yesterday, but we made excellent progress in the dining room. In fact, I think I'm going to take you in there so you can see. Here it is. Now, these boxes just got moved, moved down from under there because we were trying to figure out if we could do something with them. This is... Dennis is, oh, this is a espresso maker that we have that we were wondering if Christy would want, and so we boxed it up. We'll ask her. If not, we'll give it away. So all the junk that was in that corner is gone. All the junk that was in that corner is gone. This bin is full of kids' stuff that I think I'm just going to bring out on New Year, Christmas Eve and have the little girls go through them and decide what they want to keep and what they don't. And all that stuff down there is Dennis's winemaking stuff, and he has ordered some containers f f that he can keep it in, and they are coming tomorrow. So that'll be cleared off. So I'm feeling really good about this table and the dining room. The things we have to do now are here. <laughs> Yeah, we have to deal with that. I do not know what this machine is. I think this is a coffee maker, too. But this is like a regular coffee maker. We have a coffee maker graveyard in our basement. I guess that's where that's going to go. Because in this, this corner needs to be dealt with. Uh, because I make my coffee one cup at a time anymore. This... Oh, this stack of, of um, things are things that were, have been taken out of the living room in years past when I decorated for Christmas, and they will go back into the living room after I undecorate this year. Dennis had put them in his office, but I guess that turned out not to work out for him, so we'll figure out someplace they can go. But anyway, we worked hard. Look how much we did can't even believe it one of the things I have to figure out where I'm gonna put it is this <clears throat> anytime you have a bowl in my house it collects stuff but this is a yarn bowl that I bought at the arts festival well, you know with stuff in it including one look a needle I got a whole needle but just the just the you know needle part Anyway, we did good. Uncovered my favorite salt and pepper shaker. We collect salt and pepper shakers. This is my favorite salt and pepper shaker. <clears throat> this is what Mount St. Helen looked like before it blew its top. And this is the pepper, and there's the salt. And that's what it looks like now. <laughs> I just love that. I just love that. Of course, it has trees on it again now because it's been quite a while. But yeah, Mount St. Helen before and after. And these are um, from Barcelona. They are um, Gaudi chimneys from his fancy building, which I can't, it starts with a P and I can't remember the name of it. But maybe since I'm editing this, I'll look it up. La what? La Pedrera. Dennis can hear me downstairs. La Pedrera. And these are the chimneys. 
uh, replicas of, of a couple of the fancy chimneys on top. So these are, but this one's my favorite, always has been. And uh, we do not have a place for our salt and pepper shaker collection. We keep some in the living room, but we I found a bin full of more that didn't fit up there. So I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Anyway, back to my spot and my coffee. Anyway, so we worked really hard. And a lot of the stuff ended up being piled in here because it had to be sorted through. I had piles and piles. It wasn't just... Some of those piles were there for quite a while. Uh, when when the cleaning people were coming and I had a stack of stuff, and I, I'd just stick it on the table. And then I'd no, go, not go through it. I mean, I found stacks that had envelopes from years ago, so... I wonder if we ever built our new house if I would just have a junk room <laughs> and be okay with that. Oh, my lipstick looks silly. Sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, it feels good to get it that far, and we will finish it today. Mainly, right, now, I need to work on the booze, figure out what to keep, what to put in the basement, where to put things, you know, try to get things a little more organized. Yeah, because we're not organized. So that whole thing needs to be organized. So The covers underneath the um, china closet have mostly dishes in it, but one cupboard does have a big shelf that has, you know, that was supposed to be our liquor cabinet. And it has stuff in it, but it's the stuff we haven't touched for our years. Oh, I have a question for those of you, the, you Brits. Does Pims keep? Because we were at a wedding 20-something years ago <laughs> in England and um, had Pims and really enjoyed it, so came home and bought some Pims. <laughs> we still have it. Is it good? Or is, or, you know, does it have a shelf life? Because, you know, vodka and gin, I think, will keep forever. But I'm not sure about Pims. If you have any idea, I would love to know. <laughs> because, obviously, we came home and didn't, did not make a lot of Pims drinks, after all. And so we still have the Pims. But that was a fun wedding. It's a fun to do an event like that in another country. 18. I knew where it was because I had it yesterday. <laughs> so my hope is to have the dining room finished and ready to be cleaned at the end of the day today. Unfortunately, my arm is really bothering me. Look at these cute bags. <laughs> oh, I'm loving these bags. I am loving these bags my squishy and tiny <laughs> she has the tape wrapped all the way around however I was cleaning up my area and I said to myself nope don't move the scissors because you're gonna need them <laughs> foiled you Megan <laughs> foiled you Needle protectors. <laughs> I have two things sitting here right on my table. I could put these on right now. Thank you very much. Very, very much. <clears throat> and I'm going to need them on my shawl. I didn't, I didn't knit last night. Did I tell you that? I didn't knit last night. So I'm behind now. But my shawl's getting bigger and... Once you get bigger, you start to have to worry about your needles. Your needles come, your stitches coming off your needle. Yeah, someone said maybe it's time for a green again. This is. <laughs> I really hope you like green. <laughs> Sparkle. <laughs> I do. 
I do. I do. <laughs> no, it's my worst color. I can't believe she did this to me. I'm just kidding. I'm enjoying the greens a lot. So, yeah. Yeah. So, maybe... Oh, my, this is kind of a greeny. This is a different green than this. This is... Maybe? No. Yeah. I think this, that all the different greens in this are going to be great. I think I'm going to go with... Uh, I guess I'm not sure. I have to get all the yarns together. In fact, I have to go get the ones that I already used. I put them in a separate bowl. I need to go get them again. And I do love the greens. Thank you, Megan. She's funny. I hope you like green. But I just didn't have any energy to knit or anything. My arm is really hurting me today bothered me last night while I was trying to sleep. I slept okay, but my arm kept waking me up. Well, I always wake up a lot, so I don't know what woke me up, but when I was waking up, I noticed my arm was sore. So I have to look up tendonitis. Dennis said he did, had looked it up a little the other day, and he thought ibuprofen or steroids is how they um, treat it and um, baby it. I'm like, how do I baby my right arm? He says, well, act like a left-hander. I'm like, uh, I don't know. I guess I'm going to have to, like, put a sling on or something to remind myself to not use my arm. So then the question is, if I do something and it doesn't hurt, is that okay? Like, my arm doesn't hurt when I knit. So... Is knitting okay? I don't know. It's my, it's my upper arm, and I, uh, <laughs> yeah. I still use my upper arm. I'm, I'm feeling my muscle while I do that. You know, I still use it, but very little, and it doesn't hurt when I do that. It hurts when I hold it up to show you. <laughs> so when I sit there like this, I am using it. Well, yeah, so I probably can't crochet because crochet is more right-hand work, or bigger strokes. My, since I knit continental, my right hand, it moves a little bit, but very little. One of these days I might have to go actually talk to a doctor about it instead of just trying Dr. Google. Anyway, thank you, my dear. Thank you, my dear. <clears throat> so more work today. I don't know what I'm going to, how, you know, I'm going to be, I'm going to, I guess I'm going to do, we'll rig up some kind of sling because I can see myself just constantly reaching for those bottles with my right hand and, you know, not. I hate to take ibuprofen because it kind of messes up my gut biome, but um, I may just do that for a while anyway. I mean, I just feel like it's, you know, it's better if you don't have to take any of those things, but I probably will take some ibuprofen and rig myself up a sling and try to remind myself not to use that arm and see how I do and try to pretend to be left-handed and I'll talk to Dennis about that since he is left-handed so there you go but today is a sunny day although there are clouds now in the sky it's not clear blue but it's um, partly cloudy and looks lovely in the gizmo <clears throat> says it's 36 degrees That's I don't think it's supposed to get too cold too warm so probably it won't get up past 40 which is fine good we'll be take a nice walk with the dogs there were quite a few people at the park yesterday 
um, when we walk the dog. So, you know, nice to see people using the park, but it's mostly on the weekends. And there, we, we were there the other day, and there wasn't a soul around. It was so weird, because it wasn't a bad day. We were by ourselves on the rainy day, too. <laughs> anyway. So I will be working in my dining room, getting it, getting all that other stuff organized, figure out what to do with the one corner stuff. It's mostly Dennis's stuff. It's got a little piece of furniture that makes me feel like we should figure out what to do with that. But yeah, so that might not be quite so easy. I'll have him move the kids bin over behind my chair so that it's there for Christmas Eve. And then tomorrow, I'm cleaning that room. And then I'm calling my my cleaning service and say, add the dining room to our itinerary. <laughs> because I'm not, that room is not doing that again. I'm not doing that again. My room has gotten a little junk, more junky because, you know, Dennis carried up a stack of magazines and books this big to my room and I'm like I don't have room on my shelves for those I don't I didn't you know I wasn't I didn't plan on that so <clears throat> I have to do a little rearranging on my shelves because I found like five watercolors urban sketching books up there and I want to put those on the shelf with the other ones that I had up there so and I, I'm, you know, I'm buying books faster than I'm reading them, so. <laughs> I'm all set when, you, you know, the apocalypse comes and I can sit outside and just read. Assuming, you know, I don't have to plow the fields. Where did that come from? Oh my gosh. Anyway, I have lots of reading that I could be doing that doesn't involve my phone. But I have to do some, you know, work. So Tuesday, I'm working in my room, getting it ready for Christy because she's going to need room to put her stuff and room to sleep. So I want to get the desk pretty much clear so that she can put her stuff on the desk, her suitcase or whatever. And uh, well, the suitcase might go under the desk. She'll figure it out. She'll figure it out. She's not going to be hanging up, out up there much, although she will be doing her vlog, her flossmas, so who knows. <sighs> I'm sorry, I keep talking. <sighs> please have a good day. Please take good care of yourselves. Please, please stay safe and stay sane.